I've been fascinated for many years with how my musical instruments create their sound. The acoustics of music is a large subject and there are many qualified musicians and physicists who can explain the subject in great detail. The first example you are currently seeing on the screen is the low D being played on the cello. <laughs> The pitch you can hear, which I recorded separately, is the sound that this note makes and is often referred to as D2, or first finger on the low C string for cellists, or the frequency of 73.4 Hz. If the strings are tuned perfectly and the placement is correct, the open D and A string should sympathetically vibrate too. This is something that works on all strings instruments and also the acoustic piano across the octaves. This footage shows that one note setting the other two strings vibrating. Notice how the low string vibrates at a slower speed to the other two. In theory the open D, which is currently not being bowed, should be vibrating twice as fast as the one that is being bowed. To explain why, we have to go into the world of harmonics, and this is a massive subject, so I will only give a brief explanation. When a string vibrates, it creates many waves. The fundamental, or sometimes known as the first harmonic, is the pitch that you can hear. That is the low D. But the string also vibrates simultaneously in halves, thirds, quarters, fifths, and many more divisions. Each of these divisions create a harmonic which blended together creates a sound you're actually hearing. A sound with only one harmonic is often called a pure tone or a sine wave. This diagram shows the basic principle. Um, put together it will actually sound look more like this image but with many more divisions on top so a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth into infinity. If another note nearby shares a common frequency with any of the harmonics, for example an octave, or double the frequency, the resonance caused by the string being played will also activate and the related string will sympathetically vibrate. This is known as sympathetic resonance or vibration. This is when a passive string or vibratory body reacts to an external vibration which shares a common harmonic. The pitch you are hearing is D2, or low D, on the cello, and its frequency is 73.4 Hz. Its next harmonic should match, that is if you've tuned your instrument correctly, to the open, non-bowed D string. This D string, known as D3, has a frequency of 146.8, which is double the lower D, so it will naturally respond. The only way to stop it from vibrating will be to stop it with your finger or change its tuning. The A string responds because it matches the third harmonic. That's the one where the string is divided into thirds. The spectrogram image is a way of showing the frequencies created by the note. It's a really helpful tool to be able to visually see all the harmonics, including the low D. I also thought it would be interesting to see what the low D's waveform looked like. If it was a pure sine wave, it would basically look like the previous diagrams, but a stringed instrument has a more complex tone or timbre, which gives it its characteristic sound. Our ears recognise the sound as a cello playing, whose waveform is more complex. Feel free to pause the video to look more closely at the image. In this particular video, the footage on the right has had motion amplification added, which makes the string movements more obvious. String instruments can play harmonics, that is, we can manipulate the string to play the second, third, fourth, and possibly a few more harmonics. These sound different, they're more ethereal sound, and this particular harmonic note that you can hear being played is on the low C string. I had my finger gently touching the C string at the F position, or at the quarter point of the string. I will admit for me personally, in my opinion, harmonics on the higher strings of the cello sound more clear and beautiful, but this one was done to demonstrate the string of vibratory movements.
If I stop or press the string at the quarter point, it will sound another note or tone. In this case, it would be F2. But by gently touching the string at this point, it manipulates the low C string into preventing the string's first, second and third harmonics from vibrating, creating a sound. By forcing the string to vibrate in quarters and smaller divisions, the pitch you can hear is two octaves above the string, also known as C4, or for musicians, middle C, and its frequency is 261.6 Hz. Because the string's been forced to divide into quarters, it also prevents other harmonics from vibrating too, such as the fifth, the sixth and the seventh ones. Only ones that share the same node will be able to vibrate, so eighths or twelfths would be fine. In doing this, the sound quality is affected and there are changes to its timbre. On higher strings or on a violin or viola, a video will be coming soon to show these instruments, it can sound very pure and clear. Filming this in slow motion was particularly interesting as you can actually make out the node points in action. The arrow indicates one of the quarter or fourth harmonic node points. You can see how it remains quite still but vibrates either side. The spectrogram image of this harmonic note shows the fewer numbers of frequencies or upper harmonic sounding compared to the earlier note played in this video. The waveform of the harmonic is also simpler, as the tone and timbre is clearer, less rounded and a purer sound. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. It may help you to see the instrument in a different light. Please share and click the like button.